Now, let's put things together. The molar mass of any substance, either if it's an element, molecule, compound, or ion, is the same or equals the mass in grams of one mole. In other words, is what we have at the bottom. We can convert moles to mass in grams just by multiplying by a fraction where the moles will go at the bottom and the mass in grams of the unit on top. The same, if we have grams and we need moles, we are going to multiply tens of fraction where the mass will go at the bottom in grams and the moles on top. Let's go to a couple of examples to understand this. Suppose that we want to convert 8 moles of salt to grams. Salt, you remember, is sodium chloride. Sodium appears with one atom and chlorine with one two. Then, the atomic mass of sodium is 23, the same as for chlorine, that is 35.5. Multiplying times 1, that will give us the same numbers, and that adding them all, we will get to have the total mass, molar mass, of sodium chloride, equals 58.5 grams. Now, let's have these 8 moles converted to grams, just by multiplying times the fraction of 58.5 grams divided by one mole. In this case, we can cancel out moles, and by multiplying, we'll get 468 grams. Example number two. If we want to convert 202 grams of carbon dioxide to moles, back again, we get carbon dioxide, giving us 44 grams, and having that, the 202 grams we are going to multiply times the conversion factor where moles goes on top and grams goes at the bottom, the 44 that we got, having a total answer of 4.59 moles. Now, it's time for you to try these problems and show the understanding of this conversion. Stop the video, do these problems, and when you're done, play it back and you get to see the answer so you can compare. Good luck! Volume of a gas. Avogadro has found that all gases at the, same, at the same volume, temperature, and pressure had the same number of particles. As a result, a gas volume is usually measured at standard temperature and pressure conditions, which is called STP, and that is at zero degrees of temperature and what atmosphere of pressure. He found that one mole of any gas at SCP is called the molar volume and is constant at 22.4 liters per mole. At the right hand side you can find 22.4 liters graphically expressed versus some balls so you can compare. Now having this we can have two conversion factors from moles to liters and from liters to moles. If we want to convert moles to liters, back again, the moles will go at the bottom, liters on top. And if we have volume, we will have the liters at the bottom and the moles on top. Let's apply this concept to these two examples. Find the volume of 8 moles of oxygen at SCP. 8 moles multiply moles at the bottom, so we can cancel them out, and 22.4 liters on top. By multiplying them, that will give us 179.2 liters. Example number two. Find the moles of 15 liters of helium at SCP. Back again, we have 15 liters of helium, and we are going to multiply it as a fraction where the liters will go at the bottom and the moles on top. Back again, our liters are 22.4. Dividing it, that will give us 0.67 moles. Now, it's time for you to stop the video and do the next four problems to see if you did understand this concept. When you're done, play the video back again and you get to see the answers. Good luck! Another way to calculate the molar mass is by departing from the density of the gas. Having the density that is in grams per liter we can multiply times the Avogadro's conversion factor for gases, that is 22.4 liters per mole. 
By doing this, is we will be able to have the molar mass that it will be grams per mole. Let's apply this to the next example. Find the molar mass of oxygen at SCP, having a density of 1.43 grams per liter. The density that was given, we multiply times the conversion factor. We cancel out the liters and we will get to have 32.03 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of oxygen at these conditions. Now, it's time for you to stop the video and do the next two problems applying this concept. When you are done, play back the video and you'll get to see the answer so you can compare. Good, good luck!